In this video, I will show you how to create windows elevations in AutoCAD. We will look at different types of windows, such as a sliding uh, slash casement window. We will look at an overhang window. We will look at this window over here that has uh, three panels. And then we will look at these variations, uh, different variations, such as these two uh, on the right side. My name is Jay. I make AutoCAD tutorials for interior designers and architects. And if you're new to my channel, Hit the subscribe button to get my weekly tutorials on AutoCAD. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to actually select all of these uh, examples pretty much and I'm just going to move them down. I'm going to use the move command. I typed M on the keyboard and then I'm going to select the command select from one point with the mouse and then drag down and just click somewhere here okay and i'll zoom out a little bit and one thing i'm just gonna double check is that the units are set up in this drawing so i'm gonna open the units window by typing un on the keyboard and then hitting enter and then from here i'm just gonna switch this to architectural that way autocad can understand the inch and the foot symbol and i'm gonna hit ok right so let's look into the uh sliding uh window uh, and you will see in a second why am I calling it sliding slash casement window. Uh, so first, let's let's start with the polyline. I'm going to use the polyline command up here. Uh, you can click on that or I'm going to use the keyboard here. I'm going to type P, L and I'm going to click enter. And I'm going to start anywhere and I'm going to go to the right. For example, I think I did this window originally at four feet. So I'm going to type four feet white and then I'm going to go up four feet and that's for the height. And then I'm going to slide back to the left, type 4 feet. And then I'm going to close back the polyline. I'm going to click here and then click enter. Okay, so this is the opening size, which is 4 by 4. And then what I'm going to draw right now, I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to use the rectangle command by typing R, E, C. That's the shortcut for it. Or if you'd like to uh, access it from the interface, it's the icon up here. Uh, top right corner beside the arc command okay and then from here i'm just gonna click on the middle point on the top here and then i'm gonna click to the corner over here and just in case you don't see the green triangle and the green square you just want to make sure that the object snap uh, is active on your end which can be accessed from the bottom uh, right side here uh, you can also activate it by uh, clicking the f3 or function 3 button on your keyboard uh, to turn it on and off so just double check that one is on otherwise you won't see the green um, snap points okay so back to that so now back to the window so i did a polyline first and then i did the rectangle and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the offset command i'm gonna use the shortcut the letter o and then here i'm gonna give a thickness of one and a half uh, here and then i'm gonna offset this rectangle that i did to the inside and I'm going to click enter to finish the offset command. So that gave us like the first panel uh, of this window. And then what I will do, I will select it, uh, select the polyline on the outside and the one on the inside or rectangles. And then I'm going to mirror them using the mirror command by typing MI. That's the shortcut for it. I'm going to click enter. And then I'm going to click on the upper point and I'm going to slide the mouse down to the bottom point. And that will allow me to mirror from the left to the right side. And then AutoCAD is asking if I want to erase the original objects or the source objects. And I'm going to choose no. We want to keep that. Okay. And then I'm going to do an offset here of three inches for the frame that we originally did. And I'm going to click here. So that's highlighting the, uh, the, the new rectangle that we did or mirrored. I'm going to choose the first option and that represent the original one that we did. And here I'm going to offset this to the outside of this window opening and I'm going to click enter and that gave us this result which is pretty much a four feet by four feet opening and then we have uh, a three inch uh, frame around it pretty much and for the panels inside we have like a one and a half trim uh, you can adjust it of course to what you like if you want to be more accurate or specific uh, here I'm just uh, I'm worrying mostly about the opening size and just like a clear representation of a window now we can we can showcase this as a sli uh, sliding window uh, literally by just drawing like an arrow 
and you can draw an arrow using a polyline really it doesn't matter its size it's just literally uh, gonna be visual so here i'm gonna type two inches for example and i'm gonna click enter and then enter again and i'm gonna type two inches again and click enter and here we go now we have uh, this arrow right here so that's telling you that this is a sliding window and then if you want to represent it as a casement window i'm gonna make a copy of it from this point to this point and i'm gonna click enter and instead of doing the arrow you might want to do a polyline here to represent that these windows open to the outside or to the inside here i'm using a polyline and i'm going from the corner points or sorry the middle points to the corner to the middle to the other corner point on the top okay so that's how you would show this as a casement window rather than a sliding window all right but the outline is really the same and again you can do this a different size if you prefer and then for the overhang window it's really the same process but i just want to show you how to do it here uh, i'm gonna start anywhere i'm gonna click here i'm gonna do the overhang window a little uh, 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 a little smaller so i'm gonna do two feet and then i'm gonna go up by four feet maybe and then here two feet I'm typing 24 which is two feet pretty much okay and then i'm gonna close back here and here from the beginning i'm just gonna do the offset of three inches for the frame outside okay and i'm gonna click enter to finish offset and then let's use the rectangle command i'm gonna start that and i'm gonna start the rectangle from the middle point to the corner and then i'm gonna offset it by one and a half inch i'm gonna do it to the inside and i'm gonna finish the command by clicking enter then select these two uh, polylines or rectangles and mirror them to the bottom so when you want to mirror from the top to the bottom then your mirror is going to be going horizontally so i'm going to click from one point to the other point here and then i'm going to tell autocad do not erase the source objects okay so here we go this is an overhang window and then if we want to do uh, more of like a three panel window pretty much something like this one here uh, i wrote two sliding and then one fixed window so the, the ones on the sides can be sli uh, you can slide them and then the one in the center is fixed it doesn't move so the same way we did everything so far i'm gonna do a polyline start anywhere and then here i'm gonna say this is gonna be two feet uh, six feet wide and then let's do the same height back to the first point and here we go like this and then let's do the offset first three inches to the outside and then i'm gonna do polyline here and i'm gonna start from the corner to the right i'm gonna go two feet then down then to here and then i'm gonna close this and click enter then i'm gonna offset this by one and a half and i'm gonna offset it to the inside I'm gonna click enter and then I'm just gonna copy uh, this panel two times so from this corner to this corner to this corner and I'm gonna click enter to finish the copy command All right so that's what we have so far and again if you want to show this as a sliding windows you can just copy this arrow over here and I'm gonna copy it from this corner to this corner and then if you want to show it that this one as well uh, you can slide it i'm just gonna mirror it to the other side like this and then if you want to represent this as casement windows on the side i'm gonna copy this and instead of the arrows you can just show a polyline that represent that these windows can be open to the inside or to the outside meaning like they're swing windows pretty much okay here we go all right and then these ones literally the same process and with the addition of having a panel on the on the upper part so here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just start this from scratch and then i'm gonna reference this point i'm gonna do four feet here and then another four feet or maybe let's make it a little shorter just to make it a little different then i'm gonna reference this point here and then back to here and then i'm gonna do right now uh, I'm gonna start another polyline actually and I'm gonna reference this point from this corner and uh, to reference I'm just gonna slide the mouse along that point and then I'm gonna type the distance now so I'm gonna tell AutoCAD I want to start the polyline three inches away from the point I'm referencing all right and now the polyline command start then I can reference this point and go up and when I say reference I mean just slide the mouse or drag 
uh, the mouse you don't don't click on that point right and then from here i'm gonna do one foot and then i'm gonna reference back to this point and then i'm gonna close back the shape and i'm gonna click uh enter okay and now i'm gonna do the same for the windows on the bottom i'm gonna do a rectangle from here i'm gonna offset it by one and a half to the inside and then i'm gonna mirror it to the right side and then i'm gonna offset the upper part by one and a half as well like this and then i'm gonna do a rectangle around the whole the whole opening like this and then i will offset it by three inches to represent the frame that goes around it and you can delete this interior polyline or rectangle we created if you want to have this shape or you can keep it it's really up to you uh, and the third the last window i think it's self-explanatory you can just do the exact same process like we did for this one uh, and just add a panel above it right i will leave you a download link to get this file for free if you'd like to use it in your drawings and project and if you like this video hit the like button and see you next time